In this video I'm going to show you how to use an auto pipette. There are many different manufacturers and types of auto pipette with different capacities, but the theory on how to use them is pretty much the same. In this video I'm going to be showing you this particular auto pipette, which has a volume of 100 to 1000 microliters. There are 1000 microliters in a mill, so this has a maximum capacity of 1 mil. On the side of the pipette you'll see a display window, which is currently set to 1000 microliters, but you can adjust the volume by rotating the control knob here. So when doing this, make sure you don't exceed the maximum or go below the minimum. And make sure that you turn the wheel relatively slowly. On some displays you'll have, this has a four digit display, but on some displays you'll have a three digit display. And so you might need to multiply or divide your number by a factor of 10. So once we've set our pipette to the desired volume, we can now attach a disposable pipette tip. So make sure that you use a pipette tip that's suitable for the brand of pipette you're using, as well as uh, for the correct volume as well. If you're sampling from the same sample, then you can keep the, the pipette tip on, but if you change samples, then you'll need to change your pipette tip each time. Now to operate our auto pipette, there is a two-stage press button here, so that's our first stage, and then press a little harder, that's our second stage. So to draw up our sample, we need to go down to the first stage, and then insert into our solution of interest. Lift our finger up slowly, or our thumb up slowly, to draw the sample up. And then to uh, dispense our solution, we can then press down to the first stage, and then down to the second stage to remove anything that's left in the tip. So some auto pipettes require you to pre-wet your pipette tip three times. So to do that, we just basically draw up our solution three times and then we're ready to draw up our sample to put into a test tube for example. Now I tend to dispense my sample at 30 degrees and allow the solution to run down the side of the test tube like that. Job done. Now to remove our pipette tip we simply press the eject button into a, a waste or sharp spin. 